What's up traders? This is Hugh. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the correct lot size in Forex Tester. Now, when you're back testing, it can be a little difficult in Forex Tester to figure out what's the correct lot size. Let's say that you're um, risking only 1% per trade. Forex Tester doesn't provide an easy way to do that. And that kind of blows my mind. Um, you know, Forex Tester is a great software, but uh, I think that's one feature that really needs to be added because that is probably the best way to trade for most traders is to use a fixed fractional lot size. And uh, if you can't do that in your back testing, that really slows you down. So here are two ways that I know how to do it. The first way is to create a simple spreadsheet. And this is what I've been using for a while. Um, all it has is the balance, the percent you want to risk per trade. And then it calculates the dollar risk just so you can double check the math. And then uh, you can put in the dollar per pip amount there and then the uh, pips of risk. And then that will calculate your lot size. So if you want to see the calculations, you can just look at the formula down here. And I'll go through that again real quick so you can see uh, the calculations. And then when you want to start testing, you just enter your beginning balance. And then whenever you take a trade, you enter the pips of risk. Pretty simple, right? Um, the only trouble is that when you shift between currency pairs, you have to change the dollar per pip. And then when you have to enter a trade, you have to flip back and forth between Forex Tester. And if you just want a free way to do this, then this is fine. But if you do a ton of backtesting like I do, then you need a way to speed this up. And the best way I know to do this is to use this script that my friend Adam created. Uh, he created this script for Forex Tester 2 and 3 where you can use a shortcut key or a keyboard shortcut and that will allow you to place a long or short trade um, depending on which direction you want to trade. So let's take a look at how this works. First of all, this is a paid script. So it's available for sale on tradingheroes.com if you want to buy it. Again, if you want to use the free version, you can just use the spreadsheet. But if you want this script, it makes things much faster and I like it a lot better than the spreadsheet. So once you purchase the script, you just download it, then you go to File, Install, and then you can install new script. Uh, select both of the scripts because there's one for long trades and one for short trades. Once that's installed, then you can go into your um, Market Info tab in Forex Tester 2. And I think it's in a different tab in Forex Tester 3. You have to look around for it, but you're looking for this scripts window here. So you click on this uh, scripts tab at the bottom and then you'll see your scripts show up. Now let's take a look at the settings real quick. Uh, so these are all the settings. Uh, the Most of them are self-explanatory, but the ones that you may be interested in are the rest risk definition. So you can either risk a percentage of equity balance or a specific dollar value. So if you wanted to let, you risk $100 per trade, you could you could use that. And then whichever one you choose, you put that into here. Or you put the dollar risk value into here and the amount of risk per trade in, in here. And I'm using 0.9 for this round of testing. Then you can set a take profit um, based on reward to risk. And this is a really, really handy function because um, especially if you have a really, if you have a good entry signal and you want to optimize the exit, this is probably one of the easiest ways to do it outside of writing your own fancy program. Uh, so you can choose uh, the fixed risk to reward or a fixed number of pips, fixed points. And whatever that value is, you put that into here. And then you don't worry about the conversion rate. Um, and then you can set the keyboard shortcut to anything you want. So if you want it to be control L or something like that, then you can set this to control L. I just use control one and control two. Uh, just make sure that it doesn't conflict with any of the other functions that um, are already in your operating system. So let's give this a whirl. Uh, so we move the chart forward and then let's say that I wanted to go short here. Maybe I think this is, you know, that resistance is gonna hold. So I'll go short here. And Forex Tester has these quirks. <laughs> just to let you know, it's not Adam's programming that does this, it's Forex Tester. And some of those settings in the properties needed to be there because of the way Forex Tester works. And this is another thing with Forex Tester. When you 
use a script and use an entry script like this, you have to advance to the next bar or the next candle in order to see the order um, opened. So in this case, I have already pressed control one, but now I have to press the space bar in order to see the actual order levels, right? Okay, so now it's gonna stop me out there and then maybe I'll move a little bit along here and then maybe I wanna go, let's see, some interesting level here. Okay, so let's say I saw this um, head and shoulders formation here, so I want to go short, so I'm gonna do control one again, and then it'll be short. And then when you enter the trade like this, you can um, adjust the stop loss or take profit uh, right after you enter the trade. Uh, so that makes it, you know, it really streamlines the, pro streamlines the process. You don't have to set up um, the uh, take profit or stop loss uh, while you're entering the order. And just to show you that the take profit is being set, you can see the line down here. So we can move forward. And if you have a strategy that you need to watch and you don't want to use a set R, uh, you know, profit target, then you can set the R to a really big number, like 10R or 100R or something, and um, and you'll be fine. Then you can exit the trade as you see fit. And if we move forward, are we gonna get stopped out here? Yes, we get stopped out. And as you can see down here, it, it correctly risked the $100 on this trade. So with this script or with the spreadsheet, you know, there's no more now I'm kind of guessing at what the correct lot size should be. This stuff is automatically calculated for you. And uh, so if you want the spreadsheet version, you can build it based on the formulas I gave you earlier in this video. Or if you want the script version for Forex Tester 2 and 3, you can go to tradingheroes.com and download it from there. All right, I hope that helped. Uh, if you like this video, click the like button below. And please, please subscribe to my channel to get more uh, Forex trading tutorials. All right. Thanks for watching.